Okay, out of Smacksmith here. This time, just a little basic video about this two cherries cushion. This is uh, called a dovetail saw. It's a flush cutting saw. So, aluminum back has an offset blade so that, of course, you can cut right flat against the surface and then the handle's offset so you can get it whatever you're cutting and have your fingers not interfere. Now, many times it's pole saws. This happens to be just a small DeWalt pole saw blade. People have been using these flexible saws, these have become real popular because you can just press against the surface and then they tend to have just a bit more aggressive of a tooth pattern. Where the two cherries cushion is uh, a straight back. Now, this one seems pretty decent. There appears to be two different grades of saws. They make This company makes a variety of saws and there's ones with an aluminum or galvanized steel back and there's ones that are brass backed. And it appears the brass backed ones are their higher grade saws in that these aluminum or steel backed ones are their cheaper. And there's been a few complaints. Some people have uh, had saws that just weren't sharpened properly or were pretty badly bent. This one seems okay. You might wonder what this oddball setup is. We'll give you a closer look at the teeth. Just a real basic fine tooth, not like a triple bevel or anything, just to make slow cuts. Um, flush against surfaces, mainly for cutting off dowels and that type of stuff. It can be used in any type of woodworking. Anyway, sometimes you may need to use the saw in, a diff in <clears throat> the right hand position. So what they have is this little locking peg and so you can swing the blade around and, you know, use it on the left or the right and it's more ergonomic. So I thought that was a kind of an interesting feature. Kind of an interesting idea to be able to have the blade flip around like that. Not a lot else to say about this saw. Basic. It can be found for around 25 or 30 bucks um, with the steel back, and they seem to be around 40 bucks or so for the brass backed ones, which are a little bit higher grade. There's a variety of companies that make saws that are like this, quote unquote, dovetail saws. But I just happened to ran, run into this one and in my junk stores and thought well you might come in handy every once in a while for cutting plastics of course forward woodworking for the situations where you do just need to get right up flat against something although many times i'll just end up using an oscillating tool to perform the cut uh, one advantage that this has is that it is a long blade so you can trace across the surface and really keep it flat and not have to worry about rocking it That's about all I got on that. I will mention that they did, you can just see the residue build up and feel it here. So they did at least put some resin on the blade so it doesn't rust. So I'll give them credit for that too. And I guess they're still made in Germany. Although it's a little cheesy as the packaging shows that they have a nice laser etching on the blade where in reality, it's just a silk screen that's gonna wear off. Anyway, thanks for watching.